So you guys had a heart to heart about career choices and finding your passion. Tell me about that. Yes. I don't want you to think that I am disappointed with you. Yeah. At all. I'm not. I'm not easy, but I'm fair. Yeah. Of course I would work with Hannah again, but she needs to perform at a level that I expect her to perform at. I've had passionate chief stews with table settings. I mean, come on, they live for that, you know? Hannah, that's not her forte. She doesn't live for that. It, it's a balance. To me, Sandy's position and the deck crew, I understand how they can be passionate and want to move up the ladder and things. I am passionate about traveling and earning money. And and I actually, I do actually, I'm passionate about the guests. I love giving the guests a really good experience and seeing them leave and having a good time. Table decor, cleaning toilets, making beds, not so passionate about. If you go and ask a hundred people, how many of them go to work because they absolutely love their jobs and they're so passionate about it. Me and Kate were actually laughing the other day because we're like, we go and do charter seasons now, like kind of real yachties, because we're like, you've just got to put your head down and bum up and have the best thing and get all the tips and, and then you can not do it for a little while afterwards, yeah. you know? See, that's what I love. It's the honesty. Hannah wants a child. She wants to load the boat up with kids. So she wants all kids and she needs to make money. You know how many crew members have retired from this business? And then I see them back on a boat. I'm like, oh yeah, you missed that cash. Yeah. We can't go ashore and make the money we make. And by the way, all our stuff is paid for. We get 28 days paid vacation. That's an automatic when you step on a boat. Food, rent, bills, electricity. Toiletries, you pay for nothing. And you're making all this cash, which you witness on television. It's real, people. Everyone's willing to prostitute their youth for money so then we can, like, maybe have a better future. And then they get in the golden handcuffs and they stay in it forever. Yeah, you just get more and more cash. And they like, you just keep going back, don't you? The 30 years old with 70 creases in their forehead. You wouldn't think I'm 18, would you? <laughs> <laughs>
Rob brought a random on? Oh, he brought a random on. Okay, yeah. tell me about that. He brought this chick home. He brought this chick home, but like, I don't think he was actually into it. Oh God, she, she kind of like followed us back to the boat. Um, she, I, I, she wanted a lot more from me than I was <laughs> prepared to give. They didn't do anything, I don't think. Well, he like was flirting with her all night and then he's like, come back to the boat. And then I guess maybe he came home and sobered up a tiny bit and was like, oh, she's actually like not as hot as I thought she was. Bless her soul. We ended up in the jacuzzi, like almost reluctantly. I was trying to get everyone to get into the jacuzzi with me. They didn't want, but she was wearing this like curtain of a skirt. Like it was, it was dance, like a full dressed up. She had this really weird painted box as a purse. Don't know what I found attractive at all, but it, she wasn't really attractive. Because had a couple of those, <laughs> that's why. Um, and yeah, she came to the boat and she had like kind of tried a little bit more in the jacuzzi with me and I kind of avoided her at all costs, at all costs, but couldn't quite get her to leave. She like took off oh, all her- She took off her clothes and he was like, she had granny panties on and it like turned them off and he's just like, ah, oh, I don't want that. Cause she had, they said that she had like an Amish kind of brow on. She dropped her clothes and she had this lingerie kind of thing on. It was like black lace netting, you know, but everything from here was off. Like they were just boobs and stuff. And I, I just remember looking and thinking, holy sh when this comes up, I am gonna look like <laughs> such an idiot. <laughs> it was so bad, but that was, yeah, that was a moment Why I was like- Why would you look like an idiot for that? Oh God, because I- She was not. Yeah, she was not, she, she was, was yeah, she was, <laughs> she wasn't my type. Then he came inside and just left her, and I think yeah, like maybe Colin sad. or someone had to just like sit and chat to her until the day oh, and took her home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I have a picture with a selfie with her for some reason. I don't know. Um. <laughs> hey, subscribe if you like the video, and if you want more, click here. <laughs>